Welcome to All Pro Web Tools. When you first sign up, you should get a welcome email that looks like this. This email has all the information you need to log into your All Pro Web Tools console and get started. If you can't find this email, go into your inbox and search for the All Pro Web Tools login information, and you should be able to find it. Notice this email has a link to where I need to log in and has my username and password. Down below, it also has a link to our YouTube channel with tutorial videos. But right now, I'm going to click on this control panel link so I can log into my console. Once on this page, I would recommend bookmarking it so that it's easier to find in the future. On most computers, you can press control D on the keyboard to bookmark this page. Now I'm going to use the login that was in my email, and I'll also use the password that was in my email, which is password123. Before I actually log in, I would like to point out, if you ever forget your login information in the future, you can click on this can't access your account link. When you click on it, it will ask you to type in your username or the email associated with your user, and it will send you a link to reset your password. For now, I'm just going to click sign in. Since this is the first time I've logged into my All Pro Web Tools console, it's going to ask me to change my password to something a bit more secure. Make sure you meet these requirements when you create your new password. Now I'll have to agree to the terms and conditions, and then click Save. Now that I've taken care of my password, the All Pro Web Tools console is going to help me get started in setting up. This screen explains the support options you'll have when you have questions. These include the training webinars, the support forum, and also links to our blog and our YouTube channel. These are free support options that you can use as much as you need to. And I'll make sure to explain more about your support options later. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Get Started. Step one is going to ask me to fill in my company information. It's important to fill all of these out for a couple of reasons. All Pro Web Tools Console will use this company information on places like your website and the newsletters you send out with the email marketing web tool. It will also use the contact email to send email notices to. And don't forget to double check the time zone. This step will also ask you to choose your industry. All you have to do is click on the category most like your industry until you've narrowed down your options. It's just four clicks and if you make a mistake you can go up a level and reselect. Once you've filled in your company information and chose your industry, we can go ahead and click on Next. And now step two is going to ask for your billing information for the setup fee. The setup fee does a few things for you. First, it gives you access to the unlimited training webinars. This is a great place to go if you're just learning how to use your All Pro Web Tools console and have some generic questions. As part of your setup, you'll also get a one-time data import. We'd be more than happy to import your contacts straight into your All Pro Web Tools console. You also get 10 free hours of support time for your first 30 days to help you get started. You can use this support time to get help setting up your All Pro Web Tools console. For example, we can help with your email or set up your email marketing and help set up a store and a payment processor. Once you've put in your billing information, and don't forget to put in a coupon code if you have one, go ahead and click on the Next button. This final step will ask you to choose your experts. As a part of the support system with All Pro Web Tools, you have access to certified All Pro Web Tools experts. So, for example, if I need help developing my website and coming up with the design, I can go to the All Pro Web Development Expert and click Talk to an Expert. This will bring up a directory of all the certified All Pro Web Tools experts who can help me with web development. I can look at their profile and use the contact information to get in touch with them, or click on Hire This Expert. Most experts will offer some free consultation time that we recommend you use to get to know them to find an expert that will work for you. Once you've decided what experts you want to work with, go ahead and click on Start Using Your All Pro Web Tools. Now that I've finished getting started, I can finally see my console. This is the dashboard screen, basically your home screen of your console, where you can see all of the information that is happening. Once I start using the console and set up user accounts for my employees to use the console, this workflow timeline will fill with all the information about what is being done in my company. You may notice there are a lot of menu options. There are several options on the side here, and there are several options on the top menu here. One of the most important menu options is this support button towards the top right. If I click on it, it will open the support center sidebar. 
The first thing to notice are the related videos. Wherever you are in the All-Pro Web Tools console, you can press the support button to see videos related to what you're looking at right now. If you find that the videos do not answer your question, you can go to the Help and Suggestions forum, where you can search through previous questions, or go into a forum and post your own question. Or, you can click on the Live Support Options. That will explain all your possible support options. If you need more information on using the Support Center, you can go back to your dashboard, and then click on the Support button to view a video about using the Support Center. Now let's go over the top menu bar. If I click on this first eyeball button, it opens up my website so I can see what it looks like immediately. Right now, this is just the basic website that comes with every new All Pro Web Tools console. This next button with the people shows the productivity center. This will be useful when you have employees clocking in and you can see who is clocked in and for how long they have been clocked in. This next button with the speech bubbles allows you to use the instant chat. You can talk back and forth with any other employee who is logged in by using this chat feature. This next triangle button is your notifications. This is where you'll see notifications that need your attention. For instance, right now you can see that I have two notifications already. This next button with the three bars is my tasks. As part of the base, you get the All Pro Web Tools tasking system. Anytime I get new tasks in my inbox, they will appear here so that I can see them. This next plus button is a quick shortcut if you need to add anything. For instance, you can add a blog post, contact, order, product, task, or web page very quickly from this button. This next button, the little magnifying glass, can be used to search your All Pro console. This can be used to search through contacts, orders, tasks, and most anything in the All Pro web tools. This next button is my username, but if I click on the drop down, I'll see a few more options. This profile will take me to my user settings where I can update my information. This time card is included in the basic All Pro Web Tools and will allow your users to clock in and out of the company to track time. I can also access my task inbox this way. Passwords will get me to the password manager where I can add passwords and even assign a specific level so that only certain users can see certain passwords. And sales will allow me to see my pipeline, which is a list of all the contacts that have me as an account manager. Now let's go over some of the menu options on the left. This first button dashboard will take me back to this very dashboard screen that we're looking at right now. This next button website is part of the basic package. This is where you'll want to go if you want to edit your website, adding web pages, changing web pages, or even creating blog posts. This next button store is part of the commerce web tool. This allows you to track all of your products, including inventory, and allows you to create orders, both through the console and even through the website. This next button, Contacts, is part of the CRM web tool. This allows you to see a list of all your contacts, organize them, and update their information. This next button, Emails, is part of the email marketing web tool. This allows you to send out mass emails, for instance, a newsletter, to several people all at once. This next button, Reports, allows you to take advantage of all the data that All Pro Web Tools stores for you. Here you can view, download, and print various reports based around your sales, your websites, and your employees' productivity. This next button, Marketing, allows you to keep track of marketing campaigns you are using to view their success rates. This next button, Settings, is where you go to change any settings you need for your website, your store, or your console. Perhaps most importantly, under Settings, you can go to Web Tools, and this is where you're going to add or remove any web tools that you want to use in your All Pro console. Exactly how to do that will be covered in another video. Remember, as part of the basic package in this All Pro Web Tools, it allows you to use the workflow timeline, the website editor, the tasking system, the time card system, and the password manager. There are also many exciting web tools that will add extra features to your console, and most importantly, keep all of your information in one place instead of using multiple different solutions. And remember, if you have any questions, use the support button to the right. We'll be more than happy to help you.